What's up, sports bettors? Exciting stuff. We are going through three same-game parlays. Two on DraftKings, one on FanDuel, two NBA same-game parlays, one ML or NHL same-game parlay. So there are three same-game parlay promotions. They are all positive EV if you understand the math behind them. So the first one is on FanDuel, and the way it works is it's just a risk-free same-game parlay for the week. You place a three-leg NBA, same game parlay, so Celtics Heat game tonight counts, same game parlay for tonight, and if your same game parlay with three plus legs in final odds of plus 400 or longer loses, then you get back a refund in free bets. So you get back a refund in free bets. So essentially, the strategy for this is if we just go into this game, is I just kind of look for value on odds jam, right? You can look for positive EV bets to include in your same game parlay, or you can just kind of browse for value to maximize, um, you know, the EV, the value of this promotion. So for example, Marcus Smart, we're getting plus 1200 on FanDuel. It's only plus 1000 on DraftKings. Maybe that's a good leg to include, right? Or Kyle Lowry plus 1400 first basket. What you definitely don't want to include is BAM, plus 480 first basket on FanDuel in your same game parlay when DraftKings is giving you plus 550, right? It doesn't make sense. You're getting a bad price. So you should, to maximize the value of this promo, you should be using Odds Jam to find where FanDuel is at least giving you the best line. And again, you can browse odds on Odds Jam 100% free, or you know you can use the positive EV page to try to find good legs to include in your same game parlay, such as Grant Williams under 14 and a half PRAs. That would be a good leg to include. But I've already hit this bet, $20 to win 1.75 grand uh, once you subtract the stake, I'm on under 207 and a half points in the game. Marcus Smart first basket, Jimmy Butler over five and a half alternate assists, plus 87.50 odds, right? So pretty good. Now, the next promotion is a risk free NHL same game parlay. So the exact same math holds. You can see on DraftKings, NHL risk free same game parlay, bet on the NHL, minimum three legs. Um, and you will get a free bet back up to $10 if your same game parlay loses. So again, I just use Odds Jam in the Lightning game, right? In the Lightning Panthers game to find value. And what I ended up going with is over six and a half goals, Panthers minus one and a half on the puck line, even for first period total goals, even amount, even number, one, one, zero, zero, two, two, right? Whatever, one, three. So this is what I went with for the Lightning Panthers game. Then the final promotion on DraftKings is a bit different. It is a um, parlay insurance. So you place a three plus leg NBA same game parlay for tonight. And if exactly one leg loses, you get back a free bet. So you get back a free bet if exactly one leg loses. So you need to win at least two legs in your same game parlay. And the minimum odds requirement is plus 300 which you could see right there if I didn't scroll so quickly. But anyways, we've done a video about parlay insurance. It's more complicated than a risk-free bet where you can basically bet anything. You just want the odds to be high and you'll make money. Um, but what I ended up going with is right here. So BAM over 14 and a half points. This is plus 340 odds. Jalen under 26 and a half. Max Struess under 12 and a half. So three same game parlays for tonight. Let me know if you tail any of them. I like all of them. This one's the crazy long shot one. Let's make some money today.